All right, hey guys, uh, Mitch here, and uh, I was going to do an unboxing video of my new Korg Triton Tactile 25, but that didn't pan out as didn't pan out as well as I wanted to. Um, I was going to try to be funny and uh, open it with a knife and do an accent, but that didn't work out either. Um, so I figured I would just now that I played with it for about 20, almost 24 hours. Um, I'll just kind of go over the things that I had questions before I was going to buy it um, to kind of give, uh, you know, maybe a different perspective uh, to someone who is, you know, possibly thinking about buying the Triton, the tactile, um, if you can find it. They're on Amazon right now. Um, but the first thing was I had a pad, nano pad, and the XY pad was just really cheap feeling to me. And, you know, you kind of had to press... You know, it was it was hard to do. To me, it was hard to get any kind of consistent um, behavior of it. But on this, I'm just barely, I'm just barely lightly touching this, and it's. I mean, it's just phenomenal. The responsiveness of it is. <laughs> um. And so, I thought that was really good. Um. Let's see, uh, another thing that I thought was really ingenious is, so you have one through eight when you've got the sound on, and that's kind of gets you at the beginning of each of the different categories. It's got 512 sounds, and in the box it comes with a, uh, a user manual, but in the back of the user manual, which is another thing I was kind of looking for, is... Um, the list and so in the back of the user manual it actually does have the list of the sounds um, I might try to scan it and um, post it um, somewhere like in a Dropbox folder so that's you know you can actually you know just get a list of the sounds that come with it um, but then you have set A and set B not sure if you can see it on the video um, but you can see the light changing um, and so you can set your favorites. You can have a bank of A and a bank of B of your favorites. Um, but when the sound is off, it takes it into MIDI mode, and these become MIDI CC messages. And essentially, there are three banks of MIDI CC messages um, to toggle between. And so these eight buttons um, actually become 24 buttons. And so I thought a good application of that might be in loopy... Um, using this with Loopy and, you know, doing eight tracks and having um, eight, be able to mute and solo, you know, tracks without having to, you know, switch back and forth uh, between the apps and stuff like that. So um, we just, so I thought that was really good. And another thing that I was uh, um, wondering about is whether or not I could sequence from an app sequence the internal sounds and um, because it does not have a MIDI in it has a MIDI, 5 pin MIDI out but it has MIDI in and out via USB and so I could pull up not impactor go away um, I could pull up something like um, gesturement and And it sends MIDI notes, so it, it listens. I have not figured out if you can change the channel at which it listens, um, or if it's just Omni, but it does listen to it listens to MIDI from the USB. Um, and so that got me thinking. Well, what if I had another MIDI controller hooked up, which I do. They're all going into my Akai EIE, and um, could I? I wonder if I could turn that into to control the sounds on the core on the uh, cork and so I used the app I'll bring my iPad up I used the app called MIDI bridge and I routed the port one on the axiom to port one on the Triton and lo and behold so if we turn to a piano And 
one thing I just discovered this and so that is pretty awesome whereas right now I have no control here because the sound buttons off but it's still receiving MIDI information so this is now a sound module and I could essentially control another app with this and so that's pretty cool I just discovered that that's pretty awesome um, so um, anyway let me see if there was anything else um, so essentially I could uh, you know you could take an app like genome or you know pro MIDI or anything like that and uh, you could uh, sequence it and record it in um, so but I'm running out of room on my video and I don't have to record it again um, so if you have any questions, please comment, like, subscribe, and um, I will talk to you guys later.